Welcome back to the channel on the bench today. We've got a 124 scale drift car made by HB toys It's modeled after an AE86 Toyota Truno Awesome looking car here. It's why I picked it up. Love the look of it I've actually been uh, seeing a lot on these lately. They're actually pretty popular little uh, drift cars inexpensive You get two sets of wheels as you can see here We looks like we got some drift wheels there and looks like we got some rubbers there as well as some cones this one's rated 15 kilometers per hour. Like I said, 124 scale. It is four wheel drive. You can have uh, multi users on this one and it does say it is full function. I don't believe it's fully proportional, but full function as it can go forward, reverse, left, right. That's what they mean by full function. Anything else on the box here? We're looking at another model right there. Let's see, there we go. We've got some uh, other models. There's a model we have. Looks like we've got different body styles, different colors. Looking cool. I really like this kind of mid-80s look there with the Toyota. So we're going to get everything that's in this box on the bench and we're going to take a look at it. I have some plans for this guy. We'll let you know what those are here and we'll get it out for, uh, for a quick test run as well before we end this video. So I'll be right back once we get this thing unpackaged. All right guys, everything that was in the box is now on the bench here for us to take a look at. We have an instruction manual in there. Open it up, there's your English, there's your Chinese, showing you how to operate it, how to charge it, how to change the batteries, all that good stuff is in there. It comes with a one cell, 500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. That's the battery it comes with. And you actually do get some decent runtime with that battery. I've watched a few videos and yeah, you're not uh, you're not short on runtime with that battery. Here's your standard uh, USB charging cable that comes with it. Like I thought, we do get some rubber wheels here as our secondary set of wheels, and they are drift tires on there. And we got six cones here. Pretty cool cones we get with that. Set up a little drift course or something. That's awesome. I like that. Put those aside. We have this is a toy grade transmitter. You know, it's all right. It is what it is. Yeah, it's non-proportional steering and non-proportional throttle on this one super toy grade I did already put the battery in there but I can't even remember what I put in there so we'll take a look two double A batteries to uh, power up that transmitter lock that up and let's check it out let's check out the little 124th drift car here Toyota Tr Truno AE86 awesome looking you got your power switch on the bottom there you can see non-proportional steering right there Pretty cool looking though. I like the look of it. Uh, let's see. Why don't well we got our drift tires there. Why don't we uh, open it up here and throw that battery in quickly? There we go. Actually got a pretty big battery bay. That's good because I do have some plans with this, and I'm gonna fill you in on that in a minute here. We're going to get our test run done, like I said, but after that, that's it. We're going to be tearing this guy apart. But uh, give me one moment here, and we'll uh, give you a little heads up what's happening there. All right. Just going to pop that back in quickly. It's nice. We have a power switch right there, and you got some awesome bright headlights there. That's cool. Like the headlights. Let's power on the transmitter. As you can see, non-proportional, and I believe the throttle, same. Yeah, same thing, non-proportional throttle, non-proportional steering. Four-wheel drive, though. That's cool. I like the look of this thing, guys. It's pretty cool looking. Do a little table drift in here. Awesome, I like that. That's cool, man. This is going to be a fun little toy. I think I'll... Uh, bring it to the shop with me for my test run um here's the plan though guys there's a few uh few guys i've seen on uh, youtube who have modded this and that's what i'm going to do we're going to go fully proportional with it we're going to run it off of a 2s lipo and there is definitely uh going to be enough room i believe underneath well actually you know what we're going to do i'm not going to pull the shell off because we got to take a few more screws out and i believe even more under there 
But let me fill in what we're going to do here. We're going to, like I said, fully proportional. 2S LiPo is going to be running this thing. We're going to uh, have a little fun with it. I'll do a build video on this one. I have a donor car that I totally destroyed, but the electronics are still good. Uh, if you guys follow the channel, this I can't remember the model number, but this little guy here, little GP Toys, I believe it's a 124 scale as well. Well, the electronics are still good on that. See, we've got our servo there. I'm not sure I'll be able to use the 180 motor in here, but whatever. I'll just uh, solder on the motor that's in there. I tested this out. It still works. I've got the little transmitter right here. This is fully proportional and I think is going to be a good fit in there. Nice and small. It is rated for 2S, this little guy, and it's it was quick. It was quick. Now, like I said, not sure if that 180 motor here is going to work. If it does, I'll definitely stick it in. We're about ready to wrap it up at the bench here. Loving the detail of this little 124 scale drift car. Modeled after the Toyota Truno AE86. Check out, we got some cool graphics, awesome paint job, headlights. We got drift wheels, we got rubbers, six cones. Pretty cool looking. I'm going to be putting some tail lights in this thing. Like I said, we're going 2S with it, fully proportional with the electronics that we're salvaging out of this little GP Toys Truggy. And I think this thing's just going to rip. So guys, let's wrap this one up here at the bench. Featured on the retro screen today is a fellow Canadian from the East Coast out there on the Atlantic Coast, RC Nixter. Awesome channel. Cool crawling on that channel. I enjoy it. Thank you guys will as well. Anyways, guys, let's get to the test drive. What's going on, guys? We got the AE86 124 scale Truno drift car here. Awesome looking little drifter here. We're going to take it out for a little bit of a test run here in the shop today. We got the drift wheels on there. As you can see, we'll switch it out for the rubbers here momentarily. Like I said in the unboxing, we're going to be fully upgrading this. It'll be fully proportional running off of a 2S battery, not the 1S battery, 500 milliamp hour lithium ion that's included. We'll be running a 2S, most likely LiPo off this one. But uh, for right now, let's get it. Uh, let's get it going here. Like those headlights, by the way. And we're going to just turn on that transmitter. There we go. Got the cones set up. Came with some awesome cones. We have six of them there. So let's see, uh, let's see what kind of drifting we can do with this little uh, budget 124 scale. Oh, this thing's a blast. <laughs> awesome. Actually got some pretty good speed. I wasn't expecting that. They do uh, claim 15 kilometers per hour on the box and might not be too far off actually. Definitely, uh, you can definitely drift with it. Things actually quite quick. I wasn't expecting that, like I said. Like those headlights, we'll be uh, we'll be adding some uh, tail lights to it when we put the two S uh, electronics in there. There we go, that's a bit better. I am having a blast, so this thing's awesome. Oops, a little crash there. This thing's pretty sweet for what it is and the price. No complaints. You can definitely drift with these little guys. All 
All right, guys, let's switch up those wheels and see how the rubbers do. All right, guys, we got the rubbers on the AE86 right now, the True No Drift Car 124 scale. We set up the cones a little slalom style here. Let's see how it does. Definitely a little more grippy. Oh, we took out the camera. Let me go fix that. Like I said before, guys, this thing's a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. No issues with range. That's decent, especially for a toy grade like this. I'm just pegging off cones left, right, and center here. Not bad at all. I almost uh, prefer the drift tires on there, but it's not bad either. I do like that you get the cone set. A little more practice, I think I'll be able to uh, Oh, it's way over there. There we go, bring it back in here. This thing's a blast. Decent battery life too for that little uh, one cell battery. If you guys are interested in grabbing one of these for yourself, check out the link in the description. Also leave a coupon code there for you guys if you uh, want to save yourself a few extra bucks. Non-proportional, doesn't really affect it at all. It's still a blast. And these things are dirt cheap. They're not expensive at all to purchase. And there's a few different types. I just like the look of the, the Truno here. That's what, uh, caught my attention that's why I picked it up because I wanted uh, I just like the look of it it's cool looking man and you can hear I hit something I don't know how I got in there but let's see if we can get it out oh yeah we're out perfect all right guys well I think we're gonna wrap this one up right now if you like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. Like I said, you want to grab one of these for yourself. Check out the link in the description along with the coupon code. Save yourself a few extra bucks. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys uh, hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.